In the previous videos, we got introduced to the graphics titler working exclusively in the effect controls panel to make all of our edits. There's also a tool called the Essential Graphics Window, and it offers a bit more in terms of options and capability. So let's take a look. All right, so I have a lower third title here for Esther. I'm just gonna play over this so that you can see uh, the animation. We are a very, very small family run bakery. We okay, so I'm going to select this and then come up to effect controls. And you can see here are my two text layers. And if I twirl this down, uh, you can see that I have uh, animations on position and opacity. So as I scrub through this, you can sort of see what's going on in terms of what's happening with our first text layer. And then we just have a uh, animation on position for our second text layer. Okay, we know that in the effect controls panel, we've got a lot of twirling to do. Every time we wanna access another text layer, we twirl up, we twirl down. Uh, we're basically always just trying to find the parameters that we wanna animate through all of this twirling, okay? So as you go back and forth between these text layers, it can be a little bit cumbersome. But now I'm gonna open up the essential graphics window and I'm gonna to go to edit, and I'm gonna show you how uh, things are different. Okay, so here I have my first text layer, Esther Barron, and right under that I have my source text parameters, which include all of my word processing parameters, my appearance parameters, and then below that are my transform parameters. In the essential graphics window, it's a little bit different. Again, I'm clicking on the Esther Barron title here. At the top are my responsive design parameters, then I have my align and transform parameters, master styles, text, and appearance. So things are in a different order and there are some additional items as well, okay? And there's no twirling, it's an accordion structure. So when I wanna edit this text layer, I click on this, and when I wanna edit this text layer, I click on this, and then all of the controls down here respond to this text layer. So you can sort of design in here and then keyframe in here if you want, any changes you make in the essential graphics window are likewise made in the effect controls panel. So if I select this and then come down to my appearance and change the color, uh, you can see that it is likewise changed over here. Okay, I'll undo that, Command Z. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about designing things from scratch in the essential graphics window. I'm going to toggle off V3 and let's create a brand new title uh, for Esther. Okay, so I'm going to just select my timeline and make sure that this is not selected, but select my timeline at large. You'll see the essential graphics window is empty and I can come here to create a new layer and I'll choose text and you can see that it picked the style that I was just in, but I'm gonna change this. I'll just call this Esther Baron. okay? And we wanna make it larger. And I don't need a capital S there. And I'm gonna take away the background and I'm just gonna make it white. So we'll go back to white here. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, just duplicate this layer. So I'm gonna select it, right click and duplicate. And they're right on top of one another, but I'm just gonna move this down. And here I'm just gonna type in owner Baron's bakery back to the position tool and we'll bring that size down and then let's add our rectangle we'll do new layer rectangle and right now it's covering it up and I'm going to change that right now so we're just going to bring this below and they're both white so I'm just going to take away the fill so that we can actually see it and just position this right around the text, like so. Oh, and I can't see it because I don't have stroke enabled. There we go. Okay, so everything is basically set up the way I want. Now, in the essential graphics window, you have the option to add responsive design to your various elements. And what that means is you're going to link various elements together so that when you change the text, everything changes accordingly. Let me show you what responsive design is not. I'm going to just uh, come in here and type in Baker, and you can see my rectangle stays the same size and my text does not. Let me undo that. Now, what I wanna do is actually link my shape to this text. And so I'm gonna click on my shape, and then I'm gonna come down to responsive design, and I wanna pin this to my text, Owner Baron's Bakery. 
and I'm going to pin it in the middle. Now, when I come back to this text layer and type in Baker, you can see responsive design in action. Okay, the rectangle resizes. I can type in best baker in the world. And again, responsive design works for us here. All right, I'm going to go back to owner Barron's Bakery. And I want to talk briefly about animation. Now, you can certainly animate in the effect controls panel, or you can actually animate in the essential graphics window as well. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go to the point where I want my text to end, right? So we want Esther Barron to come down. We want owner Barron's Bakery to come up, just like we did here, OK? So let's design that. I'm going to come to the point where I want both text layers to meet. And then I'm going to come over to my transform toggle. And I want to make sure that Esther Barron is chosen. And here is the toggle animation for position. So I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to go to the beginning of this clip. OK? And here is where I change my position. So I'm going to drag it up. And you know it's working because you see this little blue line that's telling you that it's going to animate. And if I play it, you'll see it come down. We are a very, very small. OK? So in addition, I wanted to go from transparent to opaque. So I'm just going to go back to that end keyframe here. And here I'm going to click on the toggle animation for opacity. And then I'm going to go to the beginning of the clip. And then I'm just going to bring my opacity down. OK, so now we should be animating in both opacity and position. We are a very, very small family. OK, so again, I'm going to go to my second keyframe position. Let's select Owner Baron's Bakery. I'm going to click on my position toggle. Then we'll go back to the beginning of the clip, and we'll move that down. And you see my little blue rubber band telling me that it's animating. And I'll play. We are a very, very small family. All right, so toggle animation is useful. Of course, if you need to do anything more complex, you'll want to come into your effect controls panel and uh, toggle everything down and really work within these parameters here. All right, so the last thing I want to mention about the Essential Graphics window is the Browse tab. OK, you have both my templates and Adobe Stock templates, and there really is so much to look through. You can just hover over each of these and get a sense of what the animation looks like, OK? Uh, for our purposes, I want a lower third, so I'm going to turn off V4 now. And you can use this search field, so I'm going to type in lower third. And I think I'm going to grab this one. I'll hover over so I can get a sense of the animation, OK? And it's as easy as dragging and dropping right into the timeline. OK, and so let's trim this back, this one too, actually. And I'm going to select it. And you can see that it's made up of two shapes and a text layer. So I'm going to just rename this Esther Baron, OK? And we'll reposition. And I can you know, change any other properties that I want. But I guess the only thing that I want to do is add her title. So I'm just going to click on this text layer and then duplicate. And we'll bring this down and bring this down. And I'm going to say, Owner Barron's Bakery. And we'll bring that size down and reposition a little bit. OK, so basically, because I duplicated from this original text layer and because it was built with responsive design, that element also contains my animation. So it's a really nice way to take advantage of built in animation and then modify further. And of course, if you really want to dig in and modify, uh, you're able to do so here in the Effect Controls panel. If this is a template that I want to use going forward, uh, I showed you in the previous movie that you can uh, promote this or upgrade it to Master Graphic. I also want to show how you can export as a Motion Graphics template. I'm just going to call this Lower Third Name Title Grow. And I'll say OK. And now, if I come over to my Browse tab and type that in, lower third name title grow, you can see that here it is, OK? All right, so that was just touching some of the cool components within the Essential Graphics window. As you're creating titles, definitely explore more of it on your own.